so this recipe that I'm going to make today is a little bit of, can be a snack or you can use it for a whole bunch of meals. So I really like that as well and it makes quite a bit. So um, if you want to save it and reheat it, you can use it for like a multitude of different things. So it's really awesome. So in this video today, we are going to make a vegan nacho cheese sauce. And this nacho cheese sauce, like I said, can be used on a bunch of meals. You can use it as a mac and cheese sauce. You can put it on veggies. You can dip chips in it. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. And it is super cheap and easy to make. So we'll go over the ingredients. So what I have, which I was prepping just before now, it's going to drip everywhere, is a boiled um, potato, so a, a large potato, and a medium carrot. So the recipe says one cup of chopped potato and half a cup of carrot but you just put a large potato and a medium carrot and you're fine and what you want to do is boil that off just in normal water until they're soft about 10 minutes you don't want the potato to get super soft because um, the starchiness won't do the same thing in the recipe and then the rest of the ingredients it seems like a lot but you only need a little bit of each one so first we have some vegetable oil some cashew milk or you can use any plant-based milk that you want we're gonna do jarred lemon juice this is the this is the secret ingredient it won't taste the same without this but you need pickled jalapenos so these are pretty cheap and they're not super spicy it doesn't make the recipe overly spicy but you do need that and then some ketchup or you can use salsa if you want and then this is from the bulk barn but this is tapioca starch or you can use arrowroot powder and i'm pretty sure if you just put cornstarch that would also work but tapioca flour or arrowroot flour is really good for thickening sauces and making a whole bunch of other vegan cheese recipes so that's great and surprise surprise nutritional yeast and then we've got garlic and onion powder and i think that's it so Basically, we're gonna put all this in a blender and blend it and it's going to blow your mind. So for anyone new joining, we're making vegan nacho cheese sauce. Um, the original recipe actually, if you wanna look it up, is from um, Lauren Toyota's blog called Hot For Food, but there's a million similar recipes going around online. And all of the recipes, if you tweak ingredients here and there, it, it all turns out just fine. That's what I say on every recipe. If you mess it up, it's still it's still gonna taste good. So again, we've got our boiled potato and carrot going right in. And another secret to this recipe is if you make sure you put the boiled carrot and onion, boiled carrot and onion, boiled carrot and potato in when it's still warm and it'll actually help make the cheese more stretchy um, and saucy. So we've got that in there. And then we're actually, I forgot, our, we're going to put a tiny bit of salt in. Usually I don't like putting like the full salt of a recipe in, but you want a little bit for flavor. And then we're going to do one teaspoon. Actually, I'll let you guys look at this while it's going in. Okay, so one teaspoon of the onion powder. In we go. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. goes and then for the tapioca starch again the tapioca starch is going to make this stretchy and bring it all together and th that's where the heat of the vegetables come in it, it's going to activate that tapioca starch so we're going to do a teaspoon and a half of tapioca starch i'm eyeballing the half teaspoon like i always do And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of the ketchup, but I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna squirt it. That looks like a tablespoon, so we got our ketchup. Again, you can use salsa for the ketchup, and then what that, what the ketchup is doing, or the salsa, is just gonna add like a little bit of sweetness and probably a little bit of color. So then now we come to the jalapeno. So you're gonna put in about six of the pickled jalapenos. Um, again, it's not, these are pickled, so it's reducing the heat. These aren't going to make this sauce super spicy. It's just going to add flavor. Get in there. And then you want to do three tablespoons of the brine itself. And I have made this recipe where I didn't add 
the pickled jalapeno or I think I forgot the brine and it didn't have that same flavor so it's something you want to do but if you are worried about it being too spicy like maybe only put in one or two tablespoons of the brine and then we're gonna do only two teaspoons of the lemon juice so if you're doing if you're gonna use fresh lemon um, I would measure out two teaspoons because you don't want it to get too lemony and a lot of rest a lot of vegan cheese recipes you'll find have the nutritional yeast but they're also gonna have something to make it tart like lemon or um, apple cider vinegar is quite common and then we need a measuring cup so we're gonna do a quarter cup of the milk so again any plant-based milk is fine Look at me measuring stuff. I'm so proud of myself. And then we're going to do a quarter cup of the oil. So it seems like a lot of oil, but this recipe, once you blend it up, actually makes a ton of the nacho sauce. So don't worry too much about the oil. Alright, so you can see it kind of looks like a really wet and greasy salad, but this is going to be delicious nacho cheese sauce. So again, for people new joining, we're making nacho cheese sauce. We've got potato, carrot that's been boiled. We've got spices. We've got pickled jalapenos. We've got nutritional yeast, tapioca starch, um, lemon juice, plant-based milk, and oil. All right. Now we're going to blend it. So if you have a Vitamix or a, or a higher end blender, it'll it'll go super easy. Um, but you can, um, if you mix this up, like say in a bowl, you can do small batches in a bullet blender. But you want to have um, a bit of of oomph to it. And I just again, there's a delay, but I just saw my cousin said that she made this recipe a few weeks ago without oil, and it turned out still really good. So that's an awesome tip. Because if you were trying to avoid oil, that makes it easy. All right, let's see how it goes, guys. Let's see if I can put this right over. So you're gonna blend it until it's really smooth and all the chunks have like gone away, the individual veggie chunks. of the veggies are gone and the oh you can see that Ooh, look at that I'm gonna pour it out in a second but I love the look of it it looks like that movie theater nasty nacho cheese sauce all right so let's take a look at this that's, again that's one of my quickest videos I think but you're absolutely going to love watch this we should slow mo this. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so good. We need to do a GIF of this, I think. So, that. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. That's it, guys. Like, that is the nacho cheese sauce. And you can see the awesome color. So, the color's coming from the carrot and the ketchup a little bit. And again, in terms of health, if you do it without the oil, a little bit healthier, but again, this is just a potato and a carrot, which are nutritious for you and, um, and healthy. So this is something that you can do and it makes it kind of like a little guilt-free. So you can have it on chips. Look at this. So this, this stretch is coming from the tapioca starch and the potato. Look at that. Program. So yeah, so you can catch the like tartness from the jalapeno brine, but you're, there's not 
a little tiny bit of bite to it, but it's not spicy at all. But for mac and cheese, it would be amazing. And dipping in chips is amazing. Or dip veggies in it if you want to have like a super healthy snack and dip more carrots in your carrot sauce. Hi, Mike. Um, the other thing um, that you can do with the nachos, which we're doing on Friday, is I made some quinoa taco meat from, I think it's Minimalist Baker. And then we're going to have loaded nachos. So we have this healthy quinoa taco meat plus the sauce. But what I'm doing tonight with it, which is kind of a more traditional thing for veggies, is I roasted off some broccoli and cauliflower. Um, so I remember that as a kid having like broccoli, it was steamed broccoli with like a cheese sauce on top. I think my mom used to use that. She'd melt down that Velveeta cheese and that was like super special to have that. So let's see how that tastes. Let's watch another pour. What? Oh my god, it's so crazy. Look at this. So this, again, this is made quite a lot here. This is a big jug in my Vitamix. So you can use this for a bunch of recipes. But if you are going to reheat it, be really careful. Um, I was looking for a fork there. Because if you just microwave it, um, it's going to bind up on you and it'll you won't be able to use it. So what you need to do is either put it in a pot on low heat and like reheat it or you can um, if you do it in the microwave just um, do it like 30 seconds at a time and mix it maybe with some water and I can't find a fork so I'm just gonna do this do this mm. Mm. So good. that's so good so we've got a vegetable sauce on top of our vegetables can't get any better than that. So that's it guys, that's the nacho cheese sauce. And um, again, this is a recipe for, it's called Hot For Food, that's her blog, and it's Hot For Food Nacho Cheese Sauce. Try it out. You know what would be really good, I just thought of, so April mentioned mac and cheese. You can use this for the mac and cheese, and then you could put those, um, crumble up some rice paper bacon that we made last week and put it over top. Oh my god, it'll be so good. Anyway, that's it guys. Oh, I see my friend Connie's here with her daughter Sheridan. Hey Sheridan. So I am going to download this and put it on YouTube, so I would totally love it if you would go over to my YouTube channel. I put all my Facebook Lives there. And I am also going to test out doing a live video right on YouTube, so I hope you guys will join me if I decide to do that test. And I might even try doing it on Instagram because we have a bunch of followers that don't have Facebook, which may seem crazy, but lots of people don't have Facebook. So please join me on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm still trying to make it to 100 people. But that's it. That's it for the cheese sauce. Now I'm just going to eat all these veggies. So good. Thank you so much for joining, guys. It's so cool to see everybody log in, especially when I see people I haven't seen in a while. So thank you very much. Have a good one.